Hi fellow crafters, welcome to Mindful Vibing Academy. I am Kriti and today we will be discussing advanced barcello techniques in two ways. So let's get started. For the first way we will be requiring two different colors. Here I am using one purple and one of my scrap clay. Now I am rolling them out and cutting out equal squares from both of them. The next step is cutting out rectangular pieces from both these slabs. The pieces should be equal in length so that there is a symmetry throughout. You will need to arrange the pieces in alternate fashion that means one slab should be from scrap clay and the other will be from the purple one or whichever colors you have chosen. After arranging the pieces, I am going to roll out the slab using my rolling pin just to make sure that I get a smooth surface to work with. And this is how our polymer clay slab looks like. Now I will be just cutting out the edges. And now I will be getting started with the Bargello technique. So this Pargelo technique actually ends up becoming a checker slab. So if you like the checker slab, this is going to be really fun for you guys. Just make sure that you have to follow the initial Pargelo technique method. That is, you have to take out one rectangular slab and then place it 0.5 centimeters below the other one and follow the symmetry for 3-4 steps and then reverse it. Just like we did in the previous Pargelo technique. If you want to refer to the previous one, I'll share the link above. So you can visit that video, watch it and check the original technique out. So this is how our final slab of the first technique looks like. I'll again roll it out using my rolling pin to smoothen out the surface and then cut out pieces using my favorite clay cutters. So this is what I got. Isn't it beautiful? For the next technique, we will be requiring three different shades. So I am taking a green, a blue and a yellow. And then I am taking my square cutter to cut out square pieces of all three colors. Now following the original Bargello technique, I will be taking out rectangular pieces from each one of them and then placing them in adjacent order. Now I realized that cutting out the pieces all together in one go will be much more easier to arrange rather than cutting each piece and then arranging them. So I had gone in that manner but you can go ahead in whichever way you feel comfortable with. Now I am going to roll out my slab using my rolling pin. Now let's get started with our Bargello method. Again, using the same Bargello technique, I am going to place the rectangular slabs. And this is how my final polymer clay slab looks like. Now I'll be cutting out pieces using my favorite clay cutter and this is what I got. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.